Steve, appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, you've always been an engineer at heart, right? And, and so tell us, you know, what does it mean to you to be an engineer? Well, you know, my father was an engineer, and I watched him do work at home, and he took me to his office, and I liked it. And I asked him, when I was very young, what do engineers do? He explained everything that's made, bridges, mm -hmm. buildings, mm -hmm. washing machines. Engineers build washing machines. Before we had washing machines due to engineers, people had to rub their clothes in water and do, scrape them through it by hand. I thought, oh, my gosh, we've saved them so much. We have such a nice, easier life. And we engineers are going to build things that will make the home. The average yeah. Joe in the average home yeah. is going to have a nicer life, more free time, and someday we'll only have to work four days a week instead of five. Yeah. didn't happen that way, but that was my motivation for being Great. an engineer. And I felt engineers were the most important people in the world. Later in life, I decided that the most important thing, the apex of all that is good, is truth. And STEM subjects are mm -hmm. basically truth. You either come up with an answer that is correct or not. Maybe it's physics, maybe it's chemistry, maybe it's mathematics, but your answer is right or wrong. If it's engineering, it works Great. or it doesn't work. Yep. And it's all based upon things you've learned. Great. So to me, I wanted to be an engineer, and uh, I was very lucky in my life to also be working for a company, Hewlett Packard, where mm -hmm. we made the test equipment that every engineer used. So we engineers designing it, we're designing stuff that we would use ourselves. Yeah. That's, a, that's a, the, best job, the best job ever. When you're yeah. building the product yourself, you have better marketing than when you assume what other people would want. Yeah, so that, that's a great story because, you know, you look at engineers as um, trying to improve things, right, make the world a better place, right? And your experience at Hewlett Packard was empowering them to be able to do a better job at that. Well, plus being a being a skilled engineer meant a lot. Absolutely, to me. yeah. absolutely. And uh, I, it, called, I called myself an engineer's engineer because I was building an engineering product that engineer engineers would use. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and so that's you know essentially what we're doing at Wazoo as well, right? We're trying to empower engineers to be able to uh, make those changes and, and drive improvements and make the world a better place. Um, one of the things that we try to do here is apply those principles, right? You know, take steal some of the lessons. Um, that engineers use to do process improvement and make things better and apply that to education. When we're, you know, when we're talking to a student that's interested in this type of program, we talked a little bit earlier about, um, you know, students understanding that this is a potential career path for them. How do we make sure that we're reaching our audience and how do we make sure that students understand that engineering is uh, a field that's available to them? Well, you wanna know something? Um, that's funny because engineering isn't normally a topic taught in schools. Mm -hmm. Fundamental learning blocks like mathematics, calculus, some physics, some principles that will go into engineering someday are in school. But how do you find out that that's what's in your heart and that's what you want to do? A lot of times teachers, parents, and everyone tells you, no, you're not. Sure. <clears throat> so you know it, and sometimes you don't get enough education. It's not available in your schools, especially K-12. So WASU is going to get out there and say, you want to be an engineer. You want to be one of those people that changes right. the world, that changes life, that makes things better for people. We're going to give you the skills that companies really want for their products and enough skills that eventually you could even do your own thing. Sure. Be creative and inventive. Absolutely. I love that. Steve, I want to appreciate, uh, I appreciate you taking the time, uh, coming in and meeting with the team, meeting with Wazi and spending the time to talk to me today. Well, thanks very much, Chris. Thank you.